Hello Pisces, what is popping with you on this lovely holiday? I'm just thrilled to see this new holiday on the 4th of July. On top of that, cancer, on top of that, that round explosion that's getting ready to happen tonight, the 4th of July. Pow, 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 pow. And also the old coming into, and I don't mean the old as in old relationships and old shit. No, 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 no. It ain't about that. It's about you connected and you're being different. Not the same as you've been, but totally different. It's like the, it's making a turn. It's like you was you was down here. Now it, it turned. Look, and now you here. Okay? You seeing everything clearly. You're not putting over nonsense. All right? And at 12 o'clock, it's like a, a whole new world for you. All right, and a lot of y'all are already experienced where y'all walk away with no problem, or walk away from a situation where you don't you don't even feel bad that you're walking away from it, but you are. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start um putting um my oils on, and I'm not gonna make the announcement. Everything I say about my candles and all that today, I want to jump right into this. I mean, it's important that we get into this. All right. Um, and, and let's learn. Let's let's move on with this. Let's move on with it. I feel like it's time to open up your minds and, and, and learn more because Pisces, we're like on a time where it's a lot of things that's coming up in our world that we need to study, right? And, and it's going to pertain to us. And, and then you get some type of... Um, something that you can learn from, okay? Something that that um just telling you opening door um it's like it's like something here that's opening doors for you then nothing is standing in your way okay things are it's like uh, a lot of things may sound strange to you or um, a lot of strange things are going to be happening, okay? It's things that, are, uh, uh, um, things that have taught us anything is to never trust an opening of your, of what it was. It's like you never know what lies on the other side. It's like they, strange things are going to be happening. While strange things is totally um, frictions. A real life experience of something crazy is going to happen on July the 5th. And that's why I told you I wanted y'all to really go into this. And really observe things. Okay. A lot of large um, countries, foreign countries um, in the world are studying this. It seems like, see, we so into the United States, we're, we're just so nosy in everybody's business that we don't even see what is in front of us. That what we need to look at. A lot of strange things is about to go down. And some things you may realize and some things you may not. But it's something strange happening. And it's going to take effect tomorrow. Right? Um, uh, it's, it's things of like this energy level. And things might collapse. A lot of things may feel like it's collapsing. Like tower moments. Okay, just like a whole lot of craziness, but it's it's after two levels of energy um, beams as to travel at a close speed of a lightning, and it's like a this this it's like something is traveling together, but it, it may cause it's in different size and effect that is coming at you. It is something coming back around, or it's something coming where it's like like a collision. But a lot of strange things is coming about and happening. And what I want you to understand, um, 
It's like you're traveling back in time, but it's something that's coming speeding. All right? Something is like a black hole, unstable. All right? It's hard for 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 um for you to understand, but it's that time where you need to play close attention. Like it's something about you that is turning. And even though it may be feeling like the worst of the worst thing happening to you, it's really not because it's, it seems to me like you are in control of it. Like you wasn't in control before, but this time you are. And I don't know what level you on or what is going on in your life, but whatever it is, I don't care how big it is, you are in control of it. I don't know who, what, or whatever, but you are in control of it. And that's what it's important that you're not going backwards and you're not going to go back like you used to accept things that it's not worth you accepting, accept things that it's not good for you, accept things that you are not growing with. It's like you just walking away like nothing, like nothing, like literally it's not bothering you. And that's what's coming into Pisces. Now, I don't know about any other sign. Because I don't read no other side. I read my energy, our energy, connecting to this higher power of these different um, um, planets that people go visit and they're not even allowed to tell you what they really discover because it's something that you sign probably away for to say, oh, I'm not going to say what happened and it's like mind blowing to them. But we never know what people run into when they get there, okay? When they walk in there, you know, the moon, or they're going to, to, to discover shit that ain't no dang they business to see if something is living there. Oh, it's plenty living there, but they come hush-hush, and we don't know anything. But now, I'm going to tell you, it's going to come a time that you're going to literally see, um, literally, literally see these UFO land right in the middle of the street. Or flying right above you. Okay. Or seeing things that you've never seen. Animals. Different um, things coming there. It's not it's not real real to our eyes. But they've been here way before we was here. Okay. So it's a lot of things that's coming. And I'm talking about now. That people are like. Oh no. That didn't. Oh yes the fuck it did. Because now it's going to happen where everybody is seeing it. You can't cover this shit. And when it comes to you, Pisces, you've been in the back burner too long. And you're coming, for, it's like you're pushing forward and it's, you're bringing a force into the, this, into your body, into the world. That you force yourself to come out of yourself. Okay, you like just open up and say, I am here, this is who I am. Like it or leave it. And it's not like it or leave it, it's like you're not telling them you can stay. You're saying I'm out and I'm out for good. Because you know your worth. And it's, I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say. And I hope I'm making sense to you. But I'm going to say something to you once again. You need to go really, really, really and get into it. And I'm going to say it again. Look it up. Look it up. And it's important that you look this up. Okay? It's important that you look it up. It's important that you understand everything I'm telling you about this. You need to start looking this up you need to um you know know what it means okay okay when was the last time it was turned on what it means when it comes to you to shut down it's a shut it's like you it's like things is just shutting down it's like you shutting shit down it is different for different people signs planets okay but shit is getting ready to be shut the fuck down all right, and it's like you're not coming back once you shut it down. It's like once you turn the light off, it's 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 off for good. All right, it ain't no. Oh well, I need to know if it's coming. No, 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 it's shut off. Okay, it ain't coming back on. Okay, and it's hard for people to understand because they don't understand what it means to shut things down and upgrade yourself. It's like you shut that down and you upgrade yourself. And you don't look back to turning it back on or going backwards. 
It's like you mean it this time, honey. If, if people don't understand what what you mean, you mean it. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. What is happening tomorrow, July the 5th, at 12 o'clock tonight, you need to search it up. And I'm going to say it again. The letter C, the letter E, the letter R, the letter N. Google it and go deep in it. And you're going to find yourself with your mouth wide open. You're going to say, that's exactly how I feel. Because it's your time, Pisces. And it's like, I don't need to be where I'm not wanted. I don't need to be where you don't need me. I don't need to be where there ain't no love. I don't need to be a part of anything that you're a part of if I'm not a part of it. I don't need the lies. I don't need the deception. I don't need for you to backstab me. I don't need for you to walk on me. You're nothing but nothing to me. And that's how you feel. Like everything that meant something to you, now it means nothing to you. And it's just so easy. It's like you're not concentrating on it. You're not debating on it. It's just the way the fuck it is. Things will never be the same. Never. When I mean never, never. All right? And I'm going to say something to you, Pisces. A lot of us never, ever, 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 ever yet met our match. A lot of us never, ever met our twin flame. All we have met was soulmates. Never a twin flame. Okay? And now you about to stand charge of, of your life, of your direction, or where it's not where you fit in, it's where they fit in you. And that's the difference. And I can't explain it to you. It's hard for me to explain. We're looking at a spiritual situation here. And, it's, and I'm going to say it again. A lot of people may think I'm crazy. They watch me. A lot of people say this lady's nuts. But everything, every reading I ever gave a person, everything I ever told a person, it is what it is. I gave a reading to this young man, and I'm sorry I haven't got back with you because I want to put you on a platform. And he's from California, a very small part of California. Actually, he moved there. He's not from there. And I, when I was doing this reading, it was mind-blowing to me how tight couldn't even, he was just, listen to me, he was this fucking tight, his reading was so tight, it was like, is there somebody alive in your life, is there somebody that you let in because your shit was all about him in his spiritual, it's like, it, it, all I kept saying, you need to break through your spirit, you need to do a job that God's brought you here to do, and it's a spiritual, on a spiritual level, People don't understand you. People where you live at or be around you think you're crazy. But everything you ever said, it is what it is. Okay? And that's no lie. I did this reading two days ago. Today makes two days. Okay? Not counting the day I did it. And that was the most bizarre reading I've ever done in my life. It was like this person was literally saying to me, his car reading was saying, Oh, he's so into this, into the world that is this type of, it's nobody fitting in your world. You know why nobody fit in this world, fit in this world? Because the universe is saying you need to come off of that world and get into the spiritual level. It's like you got to balance your spiritual with the real world. And once you balance who you are in the spiritual world, and then you, you adapt yourself to be in the real world. Okay. That's when you know it all. In this, in this guy that I did the reading for. Honey, if this right here ain't saying help, it's mind blowing to me. It's like his spiritual world is way bigger than the, than the human world. But he's got to learn to balance it. And he don't know how to do it or which way to go with it. And it's crazy to me. But I understand you, my love, because that's where I was. A long time ago. And that's why I keep telling y'all. I don't give a fuck if you think I'm crazy. I'm delusional. And all this. One thing I do live. is a spiritual world. Everything about me. Okay. I don't give a fuck how many people. 
can sit here and watch me say I'm crazy, all my candles, all my, my oils, and all of this is, is cuckoo. I guarantee you any candle I make for your ass speaks for you. Do you know how many people say, but the candle ain't burned because your shit is fucked up. Okay? The candle speaks for itself. It's not just not fucking with you. I sell, honey, I sell I hundreds of candles. Hundreds of candles. Okay? And if your candle ain't burning right, something ain't right in your life. And that can't be a make-believe. That's real shit. Okay? So you need to know that, Pisces, you need to open up the door to your spiritual, to who you are. The highest priestess, that's who you are. That's how you was born. Okay? You need to open up the door to that before this human world that you live in because that's why you're so confused. You don't know, but honey, you wide awake now, and your eyes are like this, and you see I look crazy, that's how you look to the world. They can't figure you out, but you need to know, you need to step into your spiritual world and balance, okay? Co-create in this human world, because the spirit world is your real world. It's not the human world. You got to co-create in this human world. And that's why people don't understand. Nothing you be saying. It's, it's just like crazy. But it seems like it's taking a turn. And it's like. You're looking at these people like. What did you just say? Uh -uh -uh. They caught you. They thought you were sleeping. But you wide awake. And it's like. I don't need this. And I don't need that. If I would have knew this a long time ago. It's like things is changing. Where you can just. Walk away and not give a fuck. It was so hard for you to do before, but now you can do it. And that's an every level in your life. And I'm going to tell you again. Go deep, 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 deep into what I just said. And Google it up. R, excuse me, C as in cat, E as in Ed, R as in Ramos, N as in nurse. Look that up. And don't go just at the title. Go deep in it and you're going to see yourself clear as day right there. Because it's going to make sense to you. And that's why right now, as of tonight, at 12 o'clock midnight tonight, is about to go down. Some of y'all are already there. But it's going to give you more insight of where exactly where you are at and why you are like that. Okay? It's important that you understand this. All right, let's get going. I will do a three-card reading, okay? Now, I'm just excited. I'm so excited. And it seemed like yesterday it was mind-blowing to me because I just couldn't get over everything I was seeing. The cards, the way the cards were spinning on me. The way they was telling me, you need, you need to do this. And you need to do it this way. Don't change it. Because it's like something inside of me is it's like a light. And the light is so huge and big over me that it's like, am I sitting on this stage? Is it this hot that I'm sitting on this stage? It's like, I see you. I, as far as my eyes can see, I see you. The world. I see all around the world people from every, every nationality watching me. Tell them what they need to know. I see you. Believe me, I see you. It's weird, but I can see you. And I ain't even got my glasses on. I can see you. Do you understand? All right, now. So, somebody here is going to be feeling like they was left out in the cold. Somebody here that always hold on to you to help them. It's going to feel like they on crutches. Because it seems like you done found, just walk through and say, I can't help you no more. Okay? I'm tired of helping you. I'm tired of you feeling, making me feel like you're crippled. Like you can't do nothing for yourself. Get out of here. Go. Okay? Because somebody was feeling like 
you was awake to them. But no, they were awake to you. Okay? Yeah. And you kept walking by that church. Walking by saying, oh, I need help. But I need help. Get drunk. They wasn't helping your ass. They wasn't helping you. They was literally using you. They wasn't never helping you. Don't get it twisted. It was never help there. Right? It was trying to cripple you to make it feel like they needed help. It's people mentally ill. Okay? You're dealing with people with mentally serious issues going on. But you tried. And you did everything to help these people. But they turned around and made you. The more you gain, the more they use. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck what you give them. They just give shit away like you don't mean shit. Okay? But they want to use you for every little thing you got. Your energy. And I'm going to tell you this. I don't care who it is. Whether it, I'm going to say something. You cannot help somebody that don't want no help. But you can be used to the point of no return. Okay? And you're starting to figure it out. You can go. You can... They can drain your account. They can drain your energy. They can drain everything about you. They don't give a fuck. It could be your kids. It could be your father, mother, sister, brother, your job, your boyfriend, who, your husband, whoever it is. These people are draining you. And you were so damn blind. And let me tell you something. I don't give a fuck if you like what I say or if you don't like what I say. Do not feel sorry for your kids. I don't give a fuck if they're on drugs. I don't give a fuck what they're on. They got a light. A light that they got flashing in their head. I'm going to tell you something. When I was out there dealing drugs, right, I knew what I was doing. I knew that I was selling. But I knew sooner or later, I'm going to get caught and face the music. I didn't like it when I started, when I got caught and face the music because Everything was taken away. It wasn't even worth it. Okay? But one thing that I got was a piece of mind because I no longer had to look behind my shoulder to see who was going to kill me. Was I going to get um, robbed? Was I going to get raided? I was free from all of that. And somebody around you needs to be free. And the only person that can free them is themselves. Okay? And sometimes people need to be where they at. And when they realize they ain't got nothing else to sell. But they damn pussy or dicks. Then they stop selling it. You can't help somebody that's fucking crazy. Okay. You can't do it. You can kill yourself doing it. But you're not going to make it better. Because the more you sell. The more you give. The more they sell your shit. Or give it away for free. Do you understand? Let the motherfuckers go. And I don't give a fuck who it is. Or you're going to kill yourself. Alright? You're crippling people. To use you and abuse you. Mentally. Physically. Emotionally. Okay? It's almost like you feel like you... This whole thing that's going on is going to make you feel like... And I don't even know if you know what that feels like. Right? To the point that you may feel like you are... um. Um, I got to get the word right in my mouth, coming out my mouth. Like you are feeling like you see things, but you don't believe it. Okay? It's not delusional. That ain't the word. It's not the word. It's, it's really, literally, um, where they got to... I'm trying to think. Schizophrenic. Okay? That's how you feel like you're schizophrenic. At any given time, you talk to yourself. Right? You, you talk to yourself out loud. It, 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 by yourself. Because it's something inside of you. Right? That you're trying to comprehend. But you can't. Because you're not in, in touch with this world. All right? And yeah, it, 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 and I don't know if you know anything about being schizophrenic, but I do. Okay? But I, you, they thought I was crazy. I got all my fucking marbles. 
I just had to tap into the spirit side of me. And once I tapped into that, I got rid of all the evil spirits that was hunting me down, trying to kill me and abuse me, mentally stress me out. But when I met Jonah Art and Art Michael, honey, all that shit was going. I ain't seen it. That was five years ago. And believe me when I tell you, it wasn't nothing that can help me but the angels. All right? And it just happened just like I said it happened. Now, you can act like, oh, she's crazy, honey. All right, I'm going to teach you how crazy I am. Okay? I'm going to teach you how crazy I am. All right? So now, with the Five of Pentacles, tell me more about the Five of Pentacles. Tell me what this person is feeling like they can't do nothing for themselves without you, but then they use and abuse you, okay, the Knight of Wands, somebody's putting their brakes, that's what you're doing, put your brakes on, don't move no more, don't make no more moves, don't run to this shit, put your brakes on to this bullshit, put your brakes on to people using and abusing you, okay, put your brakes on and say, I'm not going to run to you just because you say, or somebody broke in your house, or you fucking acting crazy, everything I give you, you get rid of, you, you, you look at me like my money don't mean shit, or what I do for you don't mean shit, or you got it like that, they can come to your house and eat you out of a house and home, use you and abuse you in every form of way, you can go there and buy groceries for them, next thing you know, they refrigerate is empty, because they got fucking addictions, and you just don't want to face that they got ill, they're really ill over fucking addiction, drugs, or habits, or whatever they're going, but it ain't, it ain't right, and you know it ain't right, stop playing stupid to these people around you, that it ain't nothing but energy suckers, all right, tell me more about this Knight of Wands, all right, you got all the tools, okay, to do good or bad. You got all the tools to manifest whatever you want. But you but you put your foot down. It's like you put your foot down with this shit. Right? You got any... You can create anything you want. Alright? Here you got this king of wands. They fucking mad at you because you got the tools to make anything fucking happen. They don't like it. Alright? They sitting there like they fucking pissed off. Who gives a fuck if they pissed off? You don't care. You the decision. You can do whatever you want. And they mad about it because you put your brakes down and you said, I ain't got to deal with this shit. I, I am seeing things for what it is now. I'm not blind. I mean, you come with nothing, but you expect me to give you everything. Or you come with what the fuck you come with so that you can tear me down. Motherfucker, everything you come with is what's for, for you, not for me. All right? You, everything is making sense to you. What is, what are they bringing? They ain't bringing shit. All right? Not a damn thing. Okay, so here we go. Tell me more. Tell me more about this Five of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Five of Pentacles being left out. The Two of Cups. It felt good at that time. Everything felt good. You know, this person may be different than you. And uh, maybe... Different cultures, beliefs, okay? It felt really good at one time, but um, are you seeing everything for what it is? Because somebody here, um, you know, made you feel uncomfortable or used you or for whatever, whatever, okay? But they try to show you some type of love, but you blind. Take the blindfolds off so you can see what this fucking fake-ass love is. It's called fake love. It's not real love. It's fake love. Okay? It's, it's, it's seeing things in a delusional way. That's what they want you to do. See things in a way that they want you to see it. Not the normal way, but they way. They way is the right way. Your way is the highway. They want you to see it like you take it or leave it. No, you saying, how about this? I ain't got to do shit, but open up my eyes. See you for what it is because you ain't being real. Okay, that's what it is. It's trying to. It's almost like they're trying to blind you so you don't see things for what it is. Okay, and that's what it is. They're trying to blind you. They're trying to play these simple ass little games. All right. So tell me more about this Knight of Wands.
Tell me more about this Knight of Wands. Oh, God. The high fit upside down. Okay? They're trying to make you not believe what you believe in. They're trying to take you off your your um plans. Okay? They're trying to... It's like if you normally do something in a normal way, this person wants to come in and make you do things where you're not even putting yourself first. Okay? Like they trying to play with your mind where you're doing things their way and not your way. But if you ask them to do things your way, they're not going to do it your way. Okay? It's like this person here wants to throw you off of your spiritual ways. This person here, you know, it piss can flop, but now they see. Now they see that you're not stupid. Right? That it's, that it's upside down. So whatever they see that they thought that you wasn't seeing, they see now that you ain't stupid. That you literally let them know, I'm going to do what I do. I, and you don't even have to let them know. It's like you changing your way. Where they trying to take you out for your your spiritual way. What you believe in. Okay, the high power, how you do things. Alright? They're trying to take you off your routine of doing something in a spiritual way. This person knows. It's not like they fucking stupid. They know. It's like now they know who you really are. Like, they know that you don't care, all right? This person is an energy sucker. This person is um, um, Aquarius, all right? A Gemini, um, Libra. Um, energy sucker. This person is looking at you like, oh, they thought that you was, um, they was taking you out of your path, but this person tried to, it's like this person don't believe in what you do in a spiritual way. All right, this person do not believe, and they want you to put your spiritual beliefs, your spiritual practice on the side. They don't even want to see the things that you see. All right, it, it kind of scares them. But it, before they want to think about, oh, I want to think about, um, I just imagine being with you, right? It's like, I, I want to reach out to you. But, uh, honey, this person look like they're going to reach out because you like you don't give a fuck. It's like you just came out of nowhere and say, I put my brakes down on you because I don't need to be with somebody that's mind playing these little fucking games. It's like somebody playing mind games, right? But at the same time, trying to suck you out of your spirit, what you believe, trying to suck you. It's like they playing you for a sucker. That's what they do. But you put your brakes down. You said, motherfucker, you ain't playing me for a sucker. Because you are a sucker. You goofy. Okay? You real fucking goofy. And But this person is, I don't know, this person is young. They may be younger than you. Okay? Very childish. All right? They, they might um just be fucking talking shit. All right? About how they feel. Like, this person wants you to tell them how you feel. Always make them feel secure um, about, oh, I love you, I love you. But this person knows good and damn well you're not stupid. Okay? This person knows that um, they can't play with you. Like, taking you out of your path is like, uh-uh, God saying realign yourself. Because if somebody want to take you off of what you believe in, in your psychic ways, and you already know it, um, let me tell you, it's like, I'd rather... Choose my spiritual belief, then choose a person that don't believe in what I believe in. Okay, I don't. I'm not in love with no fucking body. I'm in love with me, my spirit, God, my spirit, and myself. That's who I'm in love with. They can't take me out of that pattern, and they couldn't before, and they can't now. So if they think they're old, they think about how much they love me or how much they, they want to reach to me, and they, I don't give a fuck if you never do. I don't care if, wh who you seeing. I don't care what you doing. It don't bother me. It, 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 all the sneakiness and all that shit, it don't bother me. Because you cannot fit my shoes. You can't walk in my shoes. And you're nothing. I can't even compare you to nothing. Okay? Because it ain't nothing to compare you to. Okay? It's like zero equals zero. Alright? And that's some real shit. Okay? It's like you seeing people for who they are and you don't even care. Like you ain't chasing no damn body. 
And it's just happening like overnight and boom. Fuck that motherfucker. What? Yeah. So tell me more about this musician. This person is angry. This person thinks that you literally are the musician. This person may think that you can work magic. This person may think that you're doing voodoo or hoodoo or whatever. To them, man, you like, fuck that shit. Voodoo or hoodoo. Baby, please, you're not even worth voodoo or hoodoo. You can just get the fuck on. And I don't give a fuck about the voodoo or hoodoo. Okay, you ain't something I gotta have. You ain't something I need. You in the way. All right? Tell me more. Tell me more about why this king of wands look like he's so damn angry. Why this king of wands looking stupid? That ace, because you know, you you got that where you know, honey, this person know you're not crazy. This person knows that you got all your fucking marble. This person knows that everything is adding up, okay? Everything now is adding up. Like, they can't play with you, all right? You look at things for what it is. It's like a whole new way of you seeing things, Okay? A new concept on how you see them or what it is for what it is. All right, they can't play no more these little simple ass games that they play for too long. You you allow people to play. It ain't that kind of playing no more. And that's what they know. It ain't that kind of playing no more. All right. So I feel like somebody really try to throw you off. Or it's like almost like you scare these people what the way you move. They don't they don't know how you figure things out. They don't know how you can tell them things and things happen. They they just don't get it. Okay? It's like when you say something, they're like, what the fuck? Yeah, because you're psychic. You were born like that. Tell me about this two of swords. What is so blind about this whole shit? Okay? Pisces, I feel like you, you thought that you had it all with this person, all right? You thought that this person was going to be the one, but it seems like this person caught you off guard and you see everything right now, yeah, mm-hmm. You made this, um, it's like they made this, um, made you see things that it wasn't real. They try to make you comfortable and say, oh, I can, we can do this. We can buy a house. We can move in. We can travel. I, I got this. I got, and it was all just to bring you into, and they thought that you were stupid and that you won't see them for what, who they are. Tell me more about how this person tried to take you off your spiritual ways. Like this person tried to put you in like this. Um, look at this. Now, the the star came out wishing so whatever this person was wishing for you know they're not getting it like they it's something here that you wish for that you thought you was going to get with this person and, and none of it is true they don't believe in what you believe in they don't believe in the stars they don't believe in planets they don't believe in that spiritual thing that you believe in it's almost like they look at you like you crazy, okay? Um, but you don't, it's like everything you ask God for with this person is becoming to be a nightmare. Like it's not real. Like you, it's like you pulling on something, you pulling on a star, but you're sitting there instead of being all in, you, you, you don't want to be all in, okay? It's like. I don't know what I was asking for, and I wasn't sure about this, but this person is no growth with this person. It's no growth, okay? Tell me more. Everything is coming out to be what you want. Tell me more about this star. Aquarius is showing so deep in this shit. I mean, the, the king of swords is here now is Aquarius. Like, this person don't, look at, the nine of cups walking away from this person is going to be so easy for you. All right, you may be walking away from a cancer, but walking away from this, from these cups that are standing up, it's like this person has nothing for you and don't want the best for you and don't believe in the things that you believe in. They're not in a spiritual level like you on. They look at you and laugh at you. They think that you're silly. They think that you 
delusional. They think that you don't, you think you know everything, but you don't know shit. This person is just, it's like you need to just move on because this person is not a family. It, it's not a kind of person that you can see yourself grow with. It's all lies. Okay? Tell me more about this ace of this, you know, this person thinks you work black magic or you do evil shit. Okay? Um, this person is looking at you mad about because it's something that they feel like you're doing. All right? And they can't figure it out. Look at this. The Knight of Wands. Now, look at this Knight of Wands here. Don't it look like they're getting ready to fight smoke? How they say you want, you don't want none of this smoke. Is that how people say? You don't want to fight with me. You don't want that because I'm telling you, I'm going to zap your ass. It's like this, again, this Knight of Wands. Remember I said you put your brakes on. But now this person coming to you like they want smoke. Like they want to argue with you. They want, it's like something they're picking at with you. All right? Because they mad. Because it's like you, this person just thinks the darkness of you. They see dark around you. All right? They they don't see, Um, it's like they want to argue. They want to fight. They just don't. It's like you walking away from whatever they thought they was that they can have with you. Um, this lies that they fed you, that they made you believe in lies. Okay, and it's something that wasn't built with a strong foundation. I feel like this person never was about you. This person was about the things you got or the things they want that you can do. This person is never on the same page you on. It's they way, is they way, and your way is the highway. Okay, like they don't give, they don't, they're not, if you tell this person to take a walk with you or go to the store, don't do this, they don't want to do that, but if they want you to do something for them, they want you to sit there in a hot roasting sun and do something for them and they don't give a fuck how long you sit in that roasting sun or they want you to do everything according to what they want, not what you want, but you said, I'm, honey, I will fight you, demolish you, and you don't want none of this smoke. Don't come for the smoke, okay? Or you're going to get smoked, all right? It's, it's crazy how things is. But Pisces, if you need a private reading to get it from me or someone else, be careful of this person's energy. It's not good. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.